residents of Mukure village in Mangu, Katondo North Sub County, have decried the rampant sale and brewing of illicit brews in the area that has rendered most youth useless, with some losing their lives. The latest case is that of a young man who died last week after consuming Chang'a. The deceased, Peter Mbitungoge, was the sole breadwinner in their family after the death of his parents, taking care of his siblings were mentally challenged. Well-wishers who came to condole with the family blamed the area administrators for failing to eradicate these toxic brews. The area is notorious for Chang'a brewing and consumption, especially along the banks of rivers Chania and Darugu. They alleged that the brewers were well connected with the powers that be, making it very difficult for police officers to fight the vice. <laughs> Uh, three months ago, I came to this uh, home to visit. I saw their deplorable state, how poor they were living. They were below the poverty line, the, the state of the houses they were living in. I called out for help, and today we are here to launch the house. It's my joy, it's my gratitude, it's such an honor, and I thank each and every person who came through after my distress call. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Uh, we are having another big challenge of insecurity. We know whatever has been happening here. Uh, cases of uh, distress, uh, cases of uh, illegal Chang'a brew in this area, which has been exorbitant. We know in Gatun North we are having this problem for the longest time possible. We know very well that these Chang'a, the brewers, are people that are known. The, the authorities, the security, the police, the chiefs and the ch sub-chiefs know the people who are behind this brewing of Chang'a. We are condemning with the strongest words possible that we cannot allow ourselves to be killing the young generations. It's very sad that this day, as we're handing over this house, a member of this family has been affected by the illegal brew, the illicit brew. Uh, rest in peace, Bonapita Ambito. He welcomed us with a smile, but as we're handing over the house, he will not be living in this house because he's no longer with us. He left us because of the illicit brew that is being peddled, that is being supplied, that is being sold by these people that you are calling prominent. It's, a, it's my prayer and my call that this comes to an end. Huyo kijana ambaye aliaga dunia, naitwa Bitu. Alikufa kwa sababu ya pobe halamu. Kwa hii shamba ambayo tumesimama siku ya leo. Pale chini kuna mto. Na kuna watu wabawa wanapika ama wanatengeneza hizo pombe halamu. Ambazo vijana wetu wanakunywa, wengine hawajiwezi, wengine hawezi hata wakafanya kazi, hata dakika tano, hawezi wakasimama kwa dakika tano wafanya kazi. Wamemalizwa na hizo pombe halamu. Na kijana wetu hapa alikufa kwa sababu ya hiyo pombe. Na diyo mana tunasimama hapa, tukisema tunataka hii pombe halamu, kuua watoto wetu, kuua vijana wetu, kuua kesha nchi yetu ifike mwisho. Tunataka kutoa wito kwa viongozi wetu wote kutoka assistant chief, wazee wa kijiji, kwa chief, wote wote wasimame imala ndio wafikishe hii pobe haramu mwisho. Tulipo sikia hiyo habari. Tukaamua ya kwamba tutasimama na hii familia na tukakuja pamoja. Tukapanga kuyajengea nyumba na dipo ndio maana tuko hapa siku ya leo juu tumejenga hiyo nyumba imekamilika na leo ndio tunaipatiana kwa hii familia rais wetu eh, mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata aweza kutuma ps karaja eh, kibicho karaja na siasi matiangi tuweze kupigana na hii pobe tuliona wakipigana nayo pale dhika tunaoba hata hapa wanaesafika kwa hii mtu ambao yuko hapa chini hata wakileta dege tuweza kuenda kwa hizo mito tutoe hawa watu tutakuwa tutafurahi sana ili hiyo pobe iweze kumalisika e, wasichana wapate mabona kwa maana mabona ama vijana wamepotelea kwa pobe another thing which naweza uliza baka mp wetu is that they need some economic activity huku ukiangalia agatundu north dhika tulitoa tukatoa south tumewachua mahali hakuna economic activity ya vijana wetu 
So that's is and you appear in a letter e issues ya ya drinking because ukipita gatuko yo mchana unaona vijana wamelewa sasa na tuta 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 lazima tubadilishe hiyo mambo in his defense Mangu location chief Bogwa Kuria acknowledged that there was a challenge fighting the brews due to boundaries since the brewing was done on the banks of river Darugu that borders Gatondo North Gatondo South and Juja sub county making it hard to track down the brewers once they crossed the river Ningeomba administration ya Juja na administration ya Gatondo South tushikane na wao sisi wa Gatondo North tukishikana tufanye joint raid na tutafauru kushinda hao watu tutawashika na hiyo pombe itaisha kabisa tunasema tu ishikane juu muto ndio boundary muto ndio mpaka kwa hivyo ukiwa kwa muto pande hii ni Gatondo South pande hii nyingine ni Juja na pande nyingine ni Gatondo North kwa hivyo lazima ukija kwa muto wale wawe wako wamefika na sisi tufike wale wakitorokea huko washikwe na watu wa huko wa Todo South wakitorokea Juja washikwe na watu wa Juja na sisi wakitorokea pande yetu ya Todo North pia tuwashike serikali inafai chukue mikakati iwasaidie aidha kifedha wa, waanze biashara kidogo kidogo waone sio pombe peke yake inabayo inaweza fanya wapate pesa kwa hivyo wakisaidiwa na serikali kuna kuna uwezo fund kuna youth fund ambapo wanaweza saidia hao vijana na pesa ili waanze biashara zingine waache mambo ya kutuka pombe